Hi and welcome to another video for Linux.net. So, uh, one thing I do to use my Pine phone um, is have two operating systems on it. I think it's a major feature that differentiates Pine phone from other phones that you can easily just put an image on SD card and boot from that. And the OS I use the most on the, my Pine phone which currently doesn't have a SIM in it because that SIM is here in the, the room 5, um, is Danknex Arch Linux Arm uh, because I know how to test software with that. But of course, uh, especially when I, whenever I have my SIM card in the Pine phone, I want something that's maybe less prone to breakages. Because you know Arch moves fast and, and Dank 12 does a tremendous job at fixing uh, issues that as they come up, but sometimes they come up just because of upstream updates. And therefore I have another distro on this device and that's post market OS uh, stable. And this here is uh, 2112. Now recently on Sunday, um, I think that was June 12th, Postmarket OS uh, had another release and that's the 20, 20, uh, 2206 release based on Alpine 316. This is still Alpine 315. And now it's of course time to update that stable install on my Pine phone. And for that, um, they've now got a tool. Previously you had to reinstall, um, but now there's a script and uh, I'll just try to install that. So it's called, so it's sudo apk app in order to install an, an additional package and the package name is postmarket OS, OS dash release dash upgrade Now I have to enter my password. And now it's fetching. The tool APK is a very fast package manager. And now I think I should maybe uh, just log in uh, as root in this tunnel. Okay, and and then run the tool post market OS. see if tab completion works here. Yes, it works. Great. Okay, now it says, ask me where I want to upgrade to. Um, apparently it's strongly recomm recommended to do this via SSH and Tmux, in Tmux and Screen. Um, so I will not proceed, but I will do it on device. So I will do it in Tmux. Okay, don't have that installed. Oh, that's easy. Let's just install that and do it in there so that I can uh, SSH in, in case I need to, if something goes wrong. Because with Tmux, uh, this terminal can crash and the session will still continue to work. So that's the advantage of using Tmux here on screen. Okay, now, as you can see, Tmux is running, and now well, let's just run release upgrade again, in a way that you shouldn't do that, so please do that via SSH, but that would be a bad demo, so I'm going to attempt to do it this way, not losing that much anyway if it goes wrong. And now the script runs. It's really fast, I have to say. And 
Now, as you can see, there's a lot of GNOME 42 in here. And overall, newer packages. Newer packet to GTK. It's a big one, takes a while. We're getting GStreamer 120, which is great because that uh, should bring some ac more accelerated video playback hard accelerated video playback for at least H.264. Your kernel 5.17.5 instead of 5.15.13. U-boot. Which is the, this is the regular Pinephone and not the Pinephone Pro, which is not yet supported by Postmark OS. Stable even with the new release. By the way, they support uh, 2206, supports two new devices. Um, the Samsung Galaxy S3, that's the GT i9300 and the Shift 6MQ, which is a very interesting Snapdragon phone, a Snapdragon 845 powered phone. Um, and Shift Phones is a well, vendor uh, from Germany, which they are doing uh, things that may remind you of Fairphone, so they um, um, put an eye on repairability so you can exchange the battery easily and stuff like that. Um, in designing the device and I think it's a very nice device if you want a Linux phone and since they have uh, put really some work into getting post markers on this it's also a vendor that you might consider if you want a native Linux phone. So far, this is going surprisingly well. I was a bit afraid after reading that warning. And again, if you do that, uh, like I do here, which you shouldn't, uh, at least do it in Tmux. I think we're all done here with the update. And the phone, by the way, got a little bit warm. Well, that's to be expected, right? And it does essentially upgrade every package. Now, what will we get? Will this be the new uh, Tosh 020 beta? No. Um, this is uh, going to be Fosh 0.17 um, and there's also Plasma Mobile and the cool thing uh, with Plasma Mobile on this new release on Postmark OS if you choose to run that um, I've been told that the keyboard is now going to work with GTK apps which has been a long-standing issue with Postmark OS Plasma Mobile, but now I think 
it's been fixed or whatever. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, I'm sure that uh, people won't promise this lightly. So yeah, Plasma Mobile will try again and then otherwise SXMR 1.9.0. That's also a good one. So I have to enter my decrypt this decryption pathways. Hope I did that correctly. And it's loading. Which is good. <laughs> so, of course, the new gesture based flush is going to line the via service pack. Uh, previously, they had made those monthly. Now they've announced that, well, maybe we're going to do them monthly, but uh, only if it makes sense, which I think is a sensible choice. So if there's nothing new and great, uh, why bother and put the work into a service pack when it can be spent on uh, building other things further for the next release, maybe. Okay, so this doesn't look too different, right? All my stuff is still installed. Um, let's launch that welcome app, maybe. And yeah, they've got a new welcome wizard here. Wizard here, and you can swipe left. So here's some explanation on how to use Fosh. So yeah, when you tap the bar, they have, will have to update this for the next Fosh release. And so I'm hard to do this. One software to upgrade, uh, then for Linux and Studios, they've got some info here, which is quite nice. And now you're all set. And I can hit this, but you can also press these buttons, I don't know what they do, so let's just try that. I suppose they might open a web browser. Which, of course, on the OG Pine phone, if it's Firefox, you know how it is. It may take a while. And yes, that's what it's doing, so we've got two instances of Firefox here. And that one is the page about SSH on Postmarket as OK. And this one is more information on Fosh, which is cool. So yeah, very nice. Well done. Uh, good work on this, on redoing this visit. Good work on doing the upgrade. Everything seems to have worked from what I can say. And yeah, great work Postmarket OS and really um, Stable, maybe boring, but it's stable. And if you really want to use your Pine phone as a daily driver, you can still have tons of new software releases uh, if that's the issue via Flatpak. And Postmark OS has a lot of great tools in their repo repositories. So um, I think it's it's a good choice. See, you know, the signal I've got installed is a Flatpak, by the way. So in case you were wondering, unofficial Flatpak. But uh, I'm rambling, so let me stop this. Thank you for watching and see you soon. And maybe donate to Postmarker's time or money. Bye bye.